everybody, my name is Javier Mendoza. I am a first grade teacher, bilingual, at Don Gira Elementary. Uh, belongs to Alvin Independent School District and I'm teaching math and science. Good morning. Well, today's objective is I will use a number balance to explore and recognize the meaning of the equal sign. With my students, we have been exploring in math about the plus sign, the minus sign, but sometimes we don't talk about the equal sign. And I'm telling them there is a very powerful sign because it's telling us if both parts of the number sentences mean the same, if they are equal or not, if they represent the same amount. So since they know how to add, they know how to subtract, but sometimes they don't know exactly what the equal sign means. So I just brought some number balances and they can play with unifix cubes to make a number sentence. So let's say if they are going to say that 3 plus 5 equals 8, they can put in one part of the, of the balance 3 unifix cubes and then uh, 5 more. And they say, okay, 3 plus 5 is 8, but I'm telling them that they need, to comp they need to prove, they need to double check if the answer is correct by using a, a number balance. If the balance is on level, it means that the, that the equation is correct. The statements are true because they mean the same. So they just will get some unifix cubes. Uh, they say, okay, my answer is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And they will put those unifix cubes in the other side and they will wait a couple seconds and if they see it is balanced it's because their answer is uh, correct. Also since they are bilingual kids I'm trying to help them to improve uh, their language skills so we also have a language objective and it is I will explain to my partner that statements on each side of the equal sign are true. So they will have the time to discuss during the centers if uh, a uh, number sentence is equal or not and why. Obviously proving and using uh, the number balance. I'm trying to put that language objective because they are developing uh, communication skills and they, the most of them they speak Spanish but they are trying to, to speak in English using complete sentences and uh, improving not only the, the math knowledge but also uh, the communication uh, skills. Good morning everybody. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How was your day yesterday? Good. You made your homeworks? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't do all the homework? No? Okay, we will check this. So let's see if you are awake and let's stretch a little bit, then go to the right, then go to the left, go up, go down, and let's see if you are awake. Buenos dias, amiguitos, ¿cómo está? Haremos un saludo de amistad. Haremos lo posible por hacernos más amigos. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, qué bien. Adiós. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, qué bien. Adiós. Este es un saludo de amistad. Haremos lo posible por hacernos más amigos. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, qué bien. Adiós. Excellent. All right. Let's check our calendar today, and today is a new day in the school. Who can tell me what day is today? Yes, Manuel. Tuesday. Wednesday, are you very sure? Thursday. Oh, Thursday, yes. Today is Thursday. April, April, April the 10th of 2014. 2014. Oh, what is this birthday here? Your mom. My mom. That's the reason I love calendars because if I don't have my calendar all the time with me, I will forget some important <coughs> dates, like my mother's birthday. And tomorrow we will have another birthday. Oh, that is. It will be his birthday tomorrow. Excellent. What day was yesterday? <laughs> yesterday was Wednesday, April the 9th of 2014. And tomorrow will be? Tomorrow will be Friday, April the 11th of 2014. Very very good. So today is a new day in the school. Can we count how many days we have been here? Yes. Okay, you'll help me out. Okay, I will show you the straws that represent some numbers and you will tell me, okay? All right. Wait, 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 wait. Where 
In 131. All right. All right, there are 136 days in the school. Let me write down this number here. 136 days, that's a lot. Yes, David? Okay, we'll see, let me check. Okay, we have our count over there. So what number do I need to write down here? 136. Okay, 136. So we don't forget how many days we have been here in this school. Oh, Diego, thank you. Now, can I represent this number in different ways? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so who wants to help me with my place value chart? Uh, okay, go, Lisbeth. Hi. Don't worry, you will have your opportunity. Okay, uh, Lisbeth, can you tell me or write down actually how many groups of hands we have in the number 136? Please write it down. Okay, how many groups? One group of hundreds. All right, how many groups of tens? Three. Three, okay. How many groups, guys? Three. Excellent. And how many ones? Six. Okay. And you say three. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Are those equations equivalent? Yes. Do they mean the same? Yes. Let's see. Four plus five equals? Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Okay. Nine. 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 Uh, Oh, let me do the nine a little bit better. Okay, nine. And six plus three equals? Eight, nine. Okay. It means that four plus five is equal six plus three. I don't need to represent the numbers just using one digit. Sometimes I can use two or three or four. If the amount in the right side of the equal sign is equal to the amount in the left side, it works for me. But let me check on my balance if this is correct. I already have 4 plus 5, right? Yeah. Now I need to put, what two numbers I need to put here? Uh, 6 plus 3. Oh, okay, 6 plus 3, right? Can you count with me, please? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. It's ready? Wait, no, it's not three. ready? No. Oh, I need 3 more. Okay, can you count with me? 1, 2, 3. Okay, 6 plus 3. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Is balanced, so it means that my number sin is correct. It's true because both sides are equal. Can you see the number sentence? Can you tell me what is the number sentence saying? Three plus nine. Okay, three plus nine. So the first thing we are going to do in our balance is put this addition sentence in one side of the balance, and we will see what is the correct answer. Okay. Okay, you already put three and now you need to put nine. Excellent. Okay, let's count. So we have three here. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, three plus nine. Now we need to look for the answer and put all those unifix cubes in the other side. If the number balance, you know, is on the same level, it means that my equation or your equation is correct. Yes. He thinks it's 12. Oh, no. I me pasé otra vez. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it's balanced. If it's balanced, it's because it's correct. Okay. You have the, you, can you see your plus sign? You have the two signs. Try to keep your signs together. So you can you can use the minus or the plus sign. Which one thing you have to use? Yeah, that one. Because we are adding, right? Yeah. Luis? <coughs> okay. One plus two equals three. Are you agree with her? Yes. That's correct. Now, can I make a subtraction sentence? I have the same answer? Yes. What do you think, Manuel, could be an option? Which one? Four minus one. Four minus one. Mm, let's try. So Manuel says four 
minus one. Can you write the number one for me?